All right guys, so me and Brandon are headed out to the Okaloosa Pier right now to check on the tarpon run. They're thick as flies in Okaloosa on the pier. We're headed there right now to check this thing out. All right, so we've been sitting in traffic for like 15 minutes and there's a big wreck up ahead. So hopefully we'll be through Gulf Breeze. It should have been like a five minute thing. It's turned into a 20 minute thing. Dang, look at that van. You got messed up. Mashed up, whoa. Check this out, we're about to get hit by the worst storm ever. We are about to get hammered. Right as we get to the pier, we're about to get hammered. All right guys, we are just getting to Fort Walton and there is a swelter of a storm coming. Let me tell you, this bad boy, the whole phone is red. Yeah, I just showed it to you all ago. Uh, We're gonna have to wait this, this one this out. This is a doozy. This is a side of the road waiter right here. Man, look at that. I'm trying to park here at the pier. That's our only available parking uh, space in the pier parking lot, but. Uh, Dude. <laughs> That was literally the only parking spot in the pier parking lot, and this dude parked like this. Killed us, bro! Alright guys, so we just parked. Check out the storm right here. Fix to get sweltered. Got my lucky bag. I bet the tarpon are going off like right now because the storm's packing in. We're fixing to see. Check it out, the water is flat calm. I mean, sick calm, look at this. It's pretty awesome. tarpon action I got my Mountain Dew it's like drinking coffee slash beer while watching tarpon fishing all right guys I got tarpon hooked up out here I got my Mountain Dew I'm all ready Brand's here to videography he paid to fish they got a stud on the ground that's cool that's a bruiser right there check out all that bait right there Uh-oh, we got one. Oh, jeez. Goodness. That's nuts. That's a big one. I caught one about like that out of a kayak, and then those suckers are brutal. Like, they, you're going to be there in a minute. Awesome. Like a second sandbar-ish. Freaking nuts out here, man. All kind of fish. <laughs> it's on fire. Look at this. Fishing's on fire. It's a power caster right there. Holy cow. Come here, boy. Wild. <laughs> Starting to heat up. About to get hot. This dude's over here just doing his thing. Yeah. He's out of Cobia jig range. Oh, wow. All right, Brand, make it count. I was a little short. 
Uh, well, I almost got some loft on it right there. I almost got the distance. You need a foxhole around this joint. <laughs> Be in the danger zone. Like, <laughs> you want to be either right here or behind that red line. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we've been out here like an hour and a half, and we've been seeing them and throwing at them, but nobody's hooked up. It was a hell of a cast, though. I saw something. Out. Oh, what was that? A dolphin? It's like one of these things you almost got to stretch for, you know? I did. I almost pulled a muscle on that cast. I hadn't had to cast that far in 10 years. <laughs> it put some hip in that one, you yeah. know? You don't want warning track power when you're casting, you know? Mm -hmm. Whoa, whoa! Right Jesus, holy cow! It's getting frisky. Oh, that dude almost got smoked. He almost got smoked. <laughs> yeah, I thought someone. I thought somebody was gonna get hooked there right there. Yeah, don't point. No pointing allowed. <laughs> Good way to. Jeez. God, would. I will yeah. throw somebody over. Yeah. Give me a miss mixed martial arts match. I thought everybody saw it. I was the only one who saw it. I think you got it, Brant. Give him the distance. No, no, no. Whoa. Fuck. Jeez. Are you feeling it? Give him that special twitch. Alright, so we've been out here like an hour and a half and we've been seeing them and throwing at them, but nobody's hooked up. No cigar, guys. It's all everything else, though. Headed off the pier now. Didn't catch any tarpon. The jack bite was insane. It's like running the gauntlet with all the hooks flying everywhere. That was it right there. You know you're a lifetime pier fisherman when you got a lifetime locker at the pier. All right, guys. So we're headed back to Pensacola. We were we were told this was literally the worst tarpon bite of like the decade and we picked the one day they weren't biting but there was some stud jacker valve being caught and learned a lot about tarpon fishing from the pier hey i learned the rules real fast of pier fishing one you <laughs> stay behind the red line because they will hook you, you you wear a football helmet yeah this is like taking incoming right i mean <laughs> they would hook you hit you in the head with the jig like people are just throwing they're not even looking it's just choo -choo -choo, and it's like it's like that scene from 300 when all the arrows go up and darken the sky. That's what happens when a tarpon goes by I'm the pier. I'm not going to lie. I was pretty, I was scared. It was, it was nuts. I learned that right off the bat. That was, that was rule number one. Rule number two, do not point. Because if you point, every jig on the entire pier is getting chunked and everybody's running to that side of the pier. I didn't even, I didn't even say anything. I just went, and it's, <laughs> it was nuts. So if you don't know about pier fishing, pier fishing is one of those things where like dudes could pull knives on each other. They could fist fight because one dude just ran to another dude's line. That a fishing reel could go overboard. Dude could get hit and hooked in the head by a hook. What else, what am I missing? I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> I was on a roll. <laughs> but yeah, it's like literally, it's, it's basically where rednecks meet the water. There's beer, there's carts it's like from the beginning of the pier all the way to the end of the pier it's like experience like levels it's like level one you got the dudes playing in the surf with pompano level two you got the spanish mackerel and red fishermen about midway of the pier end of the pier you got the tarpon dudes with the cobia jigs the big swim baits and it's mass chaos and it's like first fish poof, everything goes and then everybody starts yelling so it's definitely worth the two dollars just to go watch for an afternoon because you're going to be entertained that's for sure even if you don't fish i just went for the entertainment 
he went to fish but it was worth the money but anyway guys we're headed back to pensacola i wanted to do this video just to let you know what it's like on the okaloosa pier during peak tarpon season and i wanted to just share it so everybody else can see it share our adventure today so don't forget to like and subscribe don't forget to follow angler up with brant and yak molly on instagram and facebook and we'll see you next time